following President Barrow's signing of the Access to Information ATA law in 2021, stakeholders are working to put in place the necessary measures for its smooth implementation. The two-day capacity building program, according to officials, aims to empower and provide a better understanding of the ATI law among information officers who are responsible for disseminating information to the public through various mediums. The director of the Department of Information, Isa Davis, reiterated the importance of the training, stating that it will be extended to the general public to enhance their understanding of the ATI law. As the new legal instrument that the majority of the country's population has never heard of, implementation of the ATI law requires proper sensitization to address potential doubts and the likelihood of information holders may come may become apprehensive or reticent in its implementation. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, though all information officers here present have training in media and communication, their experience is limited when it comes to the ATI. In view of the foregoing, the effective and efficient implementation of the ATI Act calls for orientation and capacity enhancement, particularly for government officials, stakeholders, and the general public. The Minister of Information, Lamin Queen Jamme, emphasized the significance of access to information in promoting transparency, accountability, and participatory governance. There is overwhelming acknowledgement that access to information affords necessary enabling mechanism for transparent, accountable, and participatory governance. It was in recognition of this power of information and the desire to create the right political and legal mechanism for access to public information that the government of the Gambia, under the proactive leadership of His Excellency Adam Abaro, signed the Access to Information Law in August 2021. The enactment of the law is indeed a profound testament to the commitment of His Excellency and his government to the ideals of democracy and a conviction that meaningful participation in democratic processes require a citizenry that is well informed. That my ministry will continue to build partnership with relevant institutions like UNESCO for the smooth and effective implementation of the access to information law as well as in many other development interventions. Acting Secretary General of UNESCO Maimona Silibe reaffirmed her office's commitment to supporting the sensitization process on the access to information law through the Department of Information. Has developed a self-paced online course on access to information, which is free, in cooperation with the Center for Law and Democracy, CLD. The course introduces right to access information legislation and its implementation we already have the legislation, so we are in the process of implementation. And I believe this course might help you. So if anybody should need any support on this, you can come through the Department of Information. And I know in the future we'll be working with them on this. The two-day training on the ATI law aims to equip participants with the necessary knowledge for its proper implementation, thereby guarantee the fundamental rights of people to freedom of speech and access to public information. Kadija Tujalo, reporting for GRTS News.